Today I want to talk about chewing gum. Chewing gum is something that we've chewed as kids, as teenagers, and some of us continue to do it as adults. And it may seem all good, but there are a couple of things that we need to know when we're chewing gum, what exactly happens in our system. <clears throat> Number one, chewing gum, of course, is bad for our teeth if it contains sugar, because constantly chewing gum keeps our teeth in this whole bath of sugar, and that causes decom uh, decomposition and basically the decaying of teeth. Now, when it comes to sugar-free gum, we need to be extremely careful because sometimes in the name of sugar-free, people add aspartame, which is far more damaging than sugar in your system. And what happens is, although your gum may be, you know, sweetened with xylitol, which is actually not that bad, but then the other ingredients of the chewing gum is very acidic in nature and they contain a lot of preservatives and color, which can also do damage to our health. The third reason, a lot of people today, especially teenagers, suffer from chronic headaches and chronic migraines, adults as well. Sometimes we look at constipation as the root cause, sometimes we look at, you know, uh, poor sleep qualities, inactivity, poor food habits, but sometimes we've done these test groups back in the U.S. where we've taken teenagers and children who chew gum and put them into groups. The ones do, who have headaches and migraines, it tends to decrease as they decrease their habit of chewing gum because there is a condition of the jaw, it's a joint disorder called TMJ, and that gets activated when we mindlessly keep chewing gum all through the day. Because as you know, the human mouth or the teeth, it isn't meant for chewing all the time. You know, we start chewing only when we eat, and that's usually three times a day, depending on your breakfast, lunch, or dinner, or four times if you have a snack in between. So your jaw also requires rest, but we put it to exercise when we constantly chew gum. Now, one of the main reasons when it comes to acidity, bloating, flatulence, so many people suffer from this and we always look just at food and we look at popping antacids and all of these things. If you have a habit of chewing gum and you are acidic or you suffer from bloating and flatulence, it's extremely, extremely important that you slowly give up your habit of chewing gum because here's what's happened. If you watch my video on digestive enzymes, the moment we start chewing, we start producing saliva. That's a physical signal to your body to stop producing acid because your stomach's expecting food. Not only does it produce acid, but it starts secreting digestive enzymes. But there's no food. There's no food in your system for these acids and en enzymes to act upon. So one of the byproducts is gas, one of the by byproducts is flatulence, bloating, acidity, and the acid medium tends to destroy the digestive enzymes that your stomach and your pancreas secrete. Because when you have food in your system, yes, you need an acidic medium for the acids to break down your food. And then you have the digestive enzymes secreted to break down that food into nutrients that get absorbed into our cells. But now there's no food, so you have acids working on digestive enzymes. And that just makes you secrete more enzymes when you don't need it. And we need our body to secrete enzymes when we eat our food the right way. So these are the things that chewing gum can do to you. So... Yeah, you want to be mindful. I'm not saying stop it completely, but make sure that you select the right gum. But if you suffer from any of these symptoms, it's a good idea to try to slowly break that habit and see how it improves. Because remember, when you chew gum, you also tend to mindlessly swallow a lot of air that creates a lot of bloating in your system and flatulence as well. So the same goes when you stand up and you gulp down water, you're swallowing in water and a lot of air as well, which gets into our system and creates havoc with our digestive enzymes, our digestive juices, and all of that. So be careful when you're chewing gum. You may want to look into this, and if you are chewing gum, make sure it's good quality gum with no artificial sweeteners, and you don't chew it mindlessly for a long period of time. Have a good day, everyone. Until next time, eat smart, move more, sleep right, and breathe deep.